Welcome back to Sheffield United. We are having a wonderful start to the season. Very unexpected. Lofty league position after just six games. We might even go top if we beat Liverpool in the first match day today. But it is Liverpool in the first match day today, so it could either be a 3-0 defeat or a 3-0 win. They tend to be that way, don't they? Games against Liverpool and Manchester City. So uh, we'll see what happens there. We then got Brighton in the league and the cup. We'll actually play the cup game, sim the home league game, sim the home league game against Aston Villa as well and play Tottenham uh, later in the episode as well. And hopefully, by the end of it, we'll still be unbeaten in the league, albeit unlikely, and be through to the next round of the Carabao Cup as well. That's the plan, at least. Only ourselves, Wolves and Manchester United are unbeaten in the Premier League so far this season. Is there anyone down below that has just, like, drawn every game? No. Uh, so just the two, sorry, just the three sides unbeaten so far this year. Last year, we struggled with goal scoring. This year, not so much, averaging more than two goals a game. Let's keep that going at home against Liverpool. Drop the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully we can get some more points. Liverpool line up with Alisson still between the sticks in goal. Trent van Dijk, Ed Emily Town, new signing, and Marcus Acuna, new signing. Wilfred and Didi in midfield as well, new signing. And still with quality on the bench to call upon with Dominic Zoboslai, Cody Hakpo, Yusuf Fofana new signing, Riddler Baku new signing. Liverpool have been splashing the cash the same way that Newcastle were in yesterday's episode. But Newcastle couldn't beat us on that occasion and hopefully Liverpool won't either. Andy Robertson went to Barcelona, I think, in the January transfer window, hence the need for a new left back. But Marcos Acuna is certainly not necessarily quite at the level of... Oh, Darwin's in. Oh, Christy was nearly in again. Thanks for the... Oh, no, he's got a, he's got a corner. Okay, you're not quite at Andy Robertson's level, but certainly as forward-thinking as Andy Robertson. Certainly better in possession than defending, you might argue. Uh, similar to Andy Robertson. Very nearly scored there. I think we're quite lucky not to be 1-0 down at the moment. Don't you? Rian Brewster gets the start again after his two-goal haul against Newcastle. And he might get himself an assist here if he can find Tuba, which he can't. Oh, but Militao's clearance isn't great. Is that a foul? Darwin, please, pushing the back. Thank you. Oxley chamberlain edge of the box. We're just going to hit it early. Try and catch the keeper out. Around the wall. Top right-hand corner. Ready! Allison certainly was. Nice turn. And Thiago. Cut back brilliantly. Acuna. The little ding. Unnecessary. Corner Liverpool again, though. Dangerous from the set piece. Salah delivers and John Egan does well. Oxley chamberlain could be away here. Oh, I was trying to dink that to get past him. We couldn't quite do it. Luis Diaz keeps it in. Obviously, Oxley chamberlain a former Liverpool man as well as a former Arsenal man. It was Liverpool he got released by so that we could bloody sign him. Wilfred Ndidi taking his time. Wearing the number seven shirt. Ndidi is the least number seven-esque player that Liverpool have in their squad, I think. Salah, good footwork. Can't get there. Alexis McAllister. Salah's done me. Dean Henderson with a wonderful save. You always expect Salah in that situation to go onto his left and shoot. And he didn't. He made the pass. Very well done. He'll take the corner for Liverpool here again. And continually we are dealing just about with everything that Liverpool throw at us. Oh, that's a lovely through ball. Mo's in. Ooh. He's lashed at that, hasn't he? Proper swing at it. Oh, actually, I think he's trying to bend it around the defender that's closing him down. And it was a lot closer than it looked, actually, from the replay angle. Whoa. From this from this angle, it looked like that had sailed a long way wide. But actually, he only missed by about three inches, Mo Salah. That was a genuinely very good effort. Good efforts aren't good enough to score goals. And so far, nothing has gone in at Bramall Lane. Wait for it. I am the biggest jinx. Mo Salah with a good effort. 1-0 Liverpool. Does well. Chuba. Oh, we're going to have to back, go back that way, but that's not bad. Bogle lifts it, looking for Rian. Might find Max Low. Does find Max Low. Full back to full back. Over the bar. Oh, lovely turn by Salah. Outside of the left foot instead of putting his laces through it. Doesn't quite work, though. It'll touch around the corner. Max Lowe's away, and that opened up for Tuba. Looking for Rian. 
Brewster against his former team. Rian Brewster took too long to take the shot. Hate it when they do that. They take an extra touch before doing the action that you've asked of them. Can we win that battle with Vinny? We can't. We're chasing it as hard as we can, but we're not going to get there. Vinny to Max Lowe. Quickly forward to Chuba. Good touch needed. Good touch gotten. Salah with the interceptions tracking back, and that's what you need. Hard work at both ends of the pitch. You need your defenders to attack. You need your attackers to defend, and as a group, you'll get the result, and that's what Liverpool have done here. And what Liverpool will do, unless we can find something dramatic at the end, like Newcastle did against us. Oh, the quality of the ball is not what's needed from Max Lowe at all, and unfortunately, we're going to lose here at Bramall Lane. Our first defeat of the season has arrived and it's come at the hands of Liverpool by a single goal to nil. Thankfully, they're not going to score, but we won't either. 1-0 defeat against Liverpool and we'll head now into... Is it Brighton next in the league? Then Tottenham, then Brighton in the cup. And then... Aston Villa at the end of the episode. Brighton at home then. New signing in goal, Diouf. New signing at centre-back, Konate. New signing out wide, Malero, Carles Hill, sat at Cam behind what is the real life new signing, Joel Pedro. Brighton with a promising team that certainly has scope for growth, but it's not as good as it will be yet. Similar to ourselves, number of players that have the capability to be better than they are, but are slowly getting there. Absolutely sold us there, and they're in, but we're going to get rid of it, thankfully. So, nil-nil in the early stages. We are at full strength for this one. No changes, no rotations for fitness or to give second string players some game time. We want a win here after that defeat to Liverpool, please. And a win we may well get. Moretti's popped up with another one. This time giving us the lead at Bramall Lane against Brighton. They're in. <laughs> Swell Pedro taking no prisoners. Sprinting as hard as he can, hitting us as hard as he can, beating the keeper. 1-1. One, one. Around the corner, into the middle. Oli McBurney! He's not scored for a little while for me in a played game, Oli McBurney. But certainly bagging a goal here again in a sim as he did against Norwich in yesterday's episode. Hopefully his goals aren't going to dry up in this save in played games. Because if they do, that will probably be... The end of Ollie McBurney in a Sheffield United shirt, you'd imagine. Hopefully he can keep on firing. Whilst he continues to fire, we will continue to play him. And he's in again. He could still shoot. He does, but it's saved well. Three minutes added on, but I don't think Brighton can have the chance to get the ball up the other end and find an equaliser. We are going to taste sweet victory once more in the Premier League. Thanks to Dean Henderson making that save at the death. That would have been a hell of a jinx, wouldn't it? They'd have found an equaliser with the last kick of the game, similar to Newcastle. Oof. Okay, Flynn position change. I'm actually just changing, training him as a, a right back, training him as a right mid, because it's a better way to get them to go up in their ratings. So uh, we'll continue to do that. Up next for us is Tottenham away in the league. Played, followed by Brighton away in the cup. Also to be played. Tanganga, they want me to play more. It's fine. He can leave in January. He was only here as a backup. And you guys helped me sign another defender in January nonetheless. So absolutely not a problem. What I do need to do is sign Gus Harmer. I haven't done that yet. I meant to do that in the last episode. And I forgot. So let's do that now. Let's buy Gus Harmer. Valued at six something. Sorry, eight and a half. My bad. Uh, I'll bid... 7.8. We'll see if we can get... Or 7.7. .7, see if we can get him under valuation. They want Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Actually, that would kind of work quite well. Because uh, I'm going to sell... didn't really want Ainsley Maitland-Niles for as long as I, I had him. So that would suit me down to the ground. i will propose a new transfer fee of 3 plus Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Plus a 3% sell-on clause. Deal agreed, sir! Ainsley Maitland-Niles is going to go to Coventry and Gus Harmer is going to come to us. That will happen in January, currently on 20 grand a week in the uh, Midlands. And hopefully he'll agree to come to us for a similar fee. Uh, I'll say rotation. Please accept that. Yes, Gus. Good lad. Uh, four years, please. That'll do very nicely indeed. I've no idea what they've actually offered him in real life. But in this save, we will offer him exactly what he's on. Oh, okay. 
He wants a bit of a sizable hike. That's fine. You can have it. Not a problem. Gus Harmer will join us in January. And Ainsley Maitland-Niles will go the other way. I'll take three million off my financial budget number here. So we will have 40 million now to spend in January on a centre-back and another centre-mid. Tottenham Hotspur, Hugo Lloris still starting in goal for them. Pedro Porro, Joe Gomez, Presnel Kimpembe, Chris Romero and Sergio, Reg Sergio Reguilon. Ben Sankur and uh, Florian Wirtz next to each other with Kulisevsky and Son flanking. Now Bayern Munich man, Harry Kane, Angel Correa, Gio Celso, Charleston, James Madison, etc. All on the bench. Certainly with the capability to change the game from it. But with Florian Wirtz in their midfield now, that is certainly a different prospect to anything we've played against with regards to Tottenham in their midfield before. Try and get rid of this if we can, but Tottenham certainly on the press in the opening stages. Expecting Florian Verts to be very, very, very good. Oh, that was a bit of a lunge. And Xing Min Son doesn't punish us for doing so. <sighs> when Son was in there, we were all waiting for the net to ripple then, weren't we? Serves me right for trying to accelerate with Vinny Souza. I guess he's not exactly the fastest player in the world, is he? Oh, we've ruined Harry Kane's career, though. He's probably made his career by going to Bayern Munich. Go to Bayern Munich, score a bag load of goals in Germany, win a couple of trophies, then come back to England and get the record. I think that's probably what Harry Kane's future career looks like. What club he comes and joins when he gets back to the Premier League, I'm not sure. I'm sure you guys would be willing to offer some suggestions. Whether he goes back to Tottenham or not, I don't know. I'm sure he'd love to do the record with Tottenham. Oh, and I'd have loved to take taken a 1-0 lead there. But unfortunately, we don't. Oxley chamberlain will deliver. Hugo not coming. Up we go! Off the line! Austin Trusty with the header, I think it was. So very nearly. So very, very nearly. The former Arsenal man trying to give us the lead here against Spurs. Oxley chamberlain the former Arsenal man, trying to give us the lead against Spurs! To Barack Pom, the former Arsenal man, gives us the lead against Spurs. And how? What a finish from two. I thought he was offside. Genuinely thought he was offside. But what an overhead kick to give us the lead. We tried, we tried, we tried. Nothing seemed to want to work. Until then. Yes. We're in front of the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Get in. Reguilon in the box. Good save. No. Oh, you can't give Harry Kane a sniff. Ha! And they're back level. Still scoring goals for Tottenham Hotspur, Harry Kane. I'm sure Tottenham fans wish that was the case in real life as well. Just half a sniff. He sorely needed half a sniff on his left foot. Thumped. Roof of the net. Benson Cork through the gap. Dan Kulisevsky. Nice tackle by Vinny Souza. Give that to Holly McBrowney was the plan. Uh, Ollie McBurney might have it as he kicks off. No, nope, Harry Kane's missed the target. That's a let off. To Harry Kane. Since we scored, it's kind of been all Tottenham. To be fair, before we scored, it was kind of all Tottenham. Challenge! Yes, John Egan. You might be being replaced in the starting lineup next season. But certainly still able to do a job to some extent. For the remainder of this, we'll look for the ball out wide. Try and dart inside with it and then play the through ball. And Chamberlain's in. Chamberlain has Ollie McBurney. Goal, Ollie McBurney. What did we say earlier on? Not been scoring goals for me in play games, but he's still doing the business in Sims. Well, he heard me. He wants to keep that starting spot for the whole damn save. We lead by two goals to one. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. Oh, he's straight across. He's not even gotten two humans on for the red cards out. He's like, get off my football pitch. He's like, Jane Burns like, what are you playing at, mate? St oh, that's nasty from Kuhn Son. And he does have that in him, doesn't he? He has this whole, oh, nice guy image. And then occasionally, he'll just pop up with a disgusting challenge and get himself sent off. He's done it more than once in real life. And now he's done it here in this game as well. Kuhn Son sent. Tottenham's comeback just got a hell of a lot more difficult. Kulisevsky into Kane. Kane out wide. Petro Porro with the space. And Kulisevsky's in the box. Harry Kane is there. Don't let him get it to Harry Kane. Dino! Whoa! Nearly squeezed it in. Keeper knocked off his feet by the effort. Get out. 
Something like a set piece is definitely a way back into the game for Tottenham, isn't it? Porro from range, maybe. Kane, don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot! 2-2. And it's H again. We got a great block on the first effort. He's just bubbled three straight back to him. Oh. I hate that. Oh, I hate that. They're just like wrestling with each other and then... Just shot powers too much for Dean Henderson. Bollocks. The 10 men are level. I could be naughty. I won't. We'll float this in. And someone will get on the end of it. Someone like Ollie McBurney! What an unbelievable reaction save from Hugo Lloris. I was certain that was in the back of the net. So was everybody in the ground. Oh, that one is... Johnny Egan, Captain Fantastic. We lead by three goals to two. Lie down, Tottenham, and this time, stay down. Might have been Johnny Egan's first goal for me in the whole save. It's a lovely through ball to Rodrigo, ben Rodrigo Bentancourt. Oh, just as Larice has been impressing at one end, Hendo's doing the same at the other. That was struck with some venom from Harry Kane, looking for a hat trick and didn't denied away with Ollie McBurney. I don't care where it goes, as long as it's away from my goal. Where it actually has gone is somewhere where we can now punish them. Can Chubarakpom outpace Joe Gomez? Yes, he can. Can Chubarakpom find the bottom corner? No! Because he's found the top one! Sheffield United 4! Tottenham Hotspur 2! They will stay down now. Oh, it's a nice through ball. Oh, Tottenham are falling apart. Tottenham get battered everywhere they go! Everywhere they go. And they're not gone far because they're at home. The 10 men have crumbled. 5 2. Marusi. Oh, it's a lovely through ball. Rian Brewster in, maybe for another one onto his right. He slotted it home. It's 6. The goals just won't stop coming. I'm a bit flabbergasted by this because with the play up until the point where the fourth went in. Tottenham have been very, very good. But the goals have just... It's like they've lost absolutely all capability to do anything. When have these goals come? They equalised in the 57th. Then 62, 68, 74 and 79. Tottenham just died. Perisic. Little tink. And away. Oh, Christ, Harry. He's gone for it there. I'll give him his dues. But there's the final whistle. Tottenham 2. 6 for us. It was another Tuba Akpom hat-trick. I didn't even notice. His third hat-trick of the season, Tuba. He's got a hat-trick of match balls. Unbelievable game. Purely one in a million. 10 shots for us. 11 shots for them. We win 6-2. That's outrageous. That doesn't happen every day. We'll take that, though. Up next... Brighton in the cup, which we again hope to win. And then we'll sim Villa at the end. Might have to make some changes here. Everybody seems fully fit. All right, off we bloody go, lads. Brighton with Bart the Bruggen, new signing, of course, in real life in goal for them. Tarek Lamptey, Ibrahima Kanate, Igor, new real life signing as well. And Purvis is Stupinia. Billy Gilmore partners, Mahmoud Tahoud this time. And the front four are not the same, actually. The front three are the same, with Undab up top now in for the slightly tired as well, Pedro. We've made some changes to our team as well, but I hope that these fringe players brought in are still good enough to get us progression in the cup. If it was a, a big hitter, certainly I wouldn't have made as many changes or perhaps not any. But in the end, I decided that I would make some changes despite the previous highlight. And hopefully these fringe players can still do the job. Go on through that gap. Johnny Flex away. Tarek Lamsey's going to try and close me down. Jesus Christ, he's so fast. Ima Kanate's pretty bloody rapid in a straight line as well. But we've got the corner. This is probably more than I could have hoped for, really. Trusty's up. Trusty with a header. What a save for Bruggen. What header from Trusty. That was unreal. We'll try exactly the same again. It's going to be McBurney underneath it. Oh, no. The man on the line scrambles it away. It's another corner. We could have had two goals from our last two corners. Fleck will try again. Oli McBurney's up again. That hit Undav. Can I get to that with Trusty? No. We'll get to this one. If I, I think it was Rian Brewster underneath it. Fleck. Uh, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. 
Let's see. Oh, God, sorry. Undev has a broken nose right off his face because his neck recoil. Oh, no, and now Antuna's played in. And we've slowed him up at least. Carlos Hill. Trusty's in the way. Carlos Hill. Wes makes the save. Feels like this game's gone on forever already. It's not even half time yet. Brewster round the corner. Half time on the horizon. McBurney making a good run here. And how's his first touch? It's great. Eagles. Igor and Ibrahim Konate have made such a partnership for this Brighton backline. They've just dominated everything I've tried to do offensively. They're really solid. I don't know where they are in the Premier League, but certainly this centre back partnership is making a big impression in this fixture. And Tuna picked off by Fleck, and that'll be nil nil at half time, but only thanks to their fantastic defence. Malero. It's done well. Gilmore, Undav. Oh, big Wes. He's just kicked it straight at him. Thankfully, he's kept it out. Corner short, rather evidently. Oh, Antuna's gone the other way. Flex in the way, but Antuna's still got it into the box. Couple of ball rolls. Dangled a leg. Could have gone down. Chose not to. Billy Gilmer on the edge. Dahoud. Undav. Can't keep him out forever. Brighton and Hove Albion finally make the breakthrough. It's 1-0 to the Seagulls here in the cup. Norwood. Fleck. I saw the press. I stepped around it very well. Brewster. McBurney. I need the run. Moretti has literally just come on. And he's equalised for us immediately. That's what you call an impact off the bench. The Loney levels up in just three minutes. Away from home at the Amex. That'll do nicely. Good block. Come on then. Come on then. La Russie. You can see Therese in the middle. Go to La Russie again. Surely. Oh, I tried to play the pass. I didn't fancy La Russie with a shot. And he's not been able to get it off. That's the chance to win it. Now we might lose it. Oh, he's offside, thank the Lord. I can't believe we haven't scored there. That was the chance we've been waiting for. Unbelievable. I've ruined it. Oh, Wally! It's not meant for La Russie. Oh, no. My passing in these final few minutes has entirely let me down. Why is he not playing that pass as well? Dahoud has a teammate in support who would absolutely have been through one-on-one. -on -one. It will be penalties here at the Amex to see who goes through. And from open play, evidently neither side was good enough to try and win it. Oh, from the spot it shall be decided. Joel Pedro will step up first and bury it. Very nicely done. It might be cheeky. I might just go the same way as Brighton. To oh, no. I've timed that wrong. It's a long way wide from Dries. Mm, Pascal Gross saved by the keeper the opportunity for a let off Moretti can he put it top left no keeper saves still we're on the back foot Estupanian down the middle maybe no he's gone that way and I've read it I say I've read it I've just guessed right Ollie McBurney he's going to go to the top right keeper goes the wrong way we are level after six penalties only two have gone in make that three from eight Carlos Hill Rian Brewster with the chance. We're going to go down the middle. Right. S effectively sudden death from now. Malero steps up. Good pen. Now we need to score to stay in it. It's Austin Trusty. Thankfully, we've nailed that, despite the fact that it was a really, really quick circle. Buonanotte off the bench here for them. And saved. It's... Anel Ahmed Hozic right down the bloody middle and big Anel sends Sheffield United through to the next round of the cup. We did it the hard way, but most importantly, we did it. Oh, I don't want to experience that again. Right, coming up next, we're following him as a penalty hero. Ahmed Hozic scores the winning goal. And we have Aston Villa to deal with in the Premier League next. Final game of the day then. At home against Aston Villa. Martinez, Moreno, Pau Torres, Diego Carlos, Luca Digne, they're back four. Kamara and Tielemans holding, as they nearly take a 1-0 lead immediately. Uh, Smith Rowe and uh, Musa Diaby is their wide man. Emil Smith Rowe signings in the summer here. Ah, this is going in, isn't it? 
And then Leon Bailey and Becker up top. Oh, they played it short. Surprised they haven't just straight up shot from there. And then there's offside. All right, brilliant. That's gone well then. 10 minutes in, nil-nil. They're in behind. He's got the pace and the finish. Becker, 94 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. And he showed it there. Once he was gone, no one was catching him. Not many chances in the first half. But unfortunately, the one that mattered went in for them, not us. Definitely needs to be now. Can you go forward with it, please, gents? Oxley chamberlain Yes! Oli McBurney in the 92nd minute with the last kick of the game. We have ourselves an equaliser. Literally last kick of the game. Oh, Oli! I love you, pal. You can stay for as long as you like. Oli McBurney avoids defeat for Sheffield United. We have ourselves another point. <gasps> a point that keeps us top of the Premier League after 10 games. What a remarkable second season we're having so far. We don't expect it to continue. Leeds are still up there. Brentford too. But at the minute, ourselves and Manchester City are the pace setters. Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea. Spurs, Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea. 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th combined. Newcastle down in 12th. Newcastle was so good against us. But they just aren't at it so far this season. Spurs have got a game in hand and to be fair, could come up to third. We're only, we're only four points above eighth. So let's not get carried away with the fact that we're first, shall we? There's definitely the chance with a couple of back-to-back -back defeats to tumble down the table. But at the minute, back-to-back -back defeats don't look likely. We've been able to really get some good results today. The red card against Tottenham certainly helped, but we made the most of it, scoring more goals than anyone else in the league so far. Significantly thanks to that Tottenham game. That's all for today. Join me. Actually, this is going to be the last video before... Uh, well, the last video I'm able to record before I go away. So, today's episode will be the last one you see until probably Sunday. Maybe Saturday, but probably Sunday moving forward, I'm afraid. But with us top of the table... Certainly there's something worth coming back for. Appreciate your patience whilst I'm away. There's plenty of other content on both channels to catch up on if you would like to or other series to watch. But for now, that will draw us to a close for today's episode. With Gus Harmer joining us in January, we're only going to get stronger and you guys are going to help me decide on who else to bring in in that January transfer window. Thank you very much for watching today. Drop the video a like, subscribe to the channel, notification bell ticked and you won't miss next episode when we're back. I'll see you then.